Hello everybody and welcome back to For Real. Tell you a little bit about what's been happening here at home. So you can see the gate up there. We've had some issues with the dogs in the area coming into our little compound here. And because the gate's so heavy and difficult to um, move along its tracks, um, people were leaving the gate open and dogs were coming in. So the landlady decided to um, add a hinged door to it, which is fantastic. So now we can close the door and um, no dogs can get in, except we have this. <laughs> so now the door is actually keeping the dog inside. <laughs> it's kind of opposite to the um, intended outcome, but anyway. It is quite a cute dog, but the gate is there to keep you out, not in. So I've just opened the gate to get the bike out. And <laughs> now we have two. Oh. Looking like it's going to be a very beautiful day. So decided to go for a ride over to Fish Island and see if I can go right to the edge as far as the road goes. Um, Google Maps, I'll put a link. Um, I'll put a picture up so you can see. Google Maps says that it's about 12 kilometers, I think, or half an hour's ride. So I'll catch you when we get a little bit closer. Jeremy's not joining me on this venture today. If you want to find out what he is up to at the moment, you'll have to watch till the end of the video. I'm actually stopping on the bridge. It's not that busy at the moment. It's usually really, really busy on this bridge, but just wanted to show you another view. All right, let's get going. Fish Island or bust? It's easy to forget how beautiful it is out here. I haven't been out for a long time. Someone's selling pots and pans on the side of the road here. Beautiful view out in the countryside. Need to check the map and see if I'm going in the right direction. Sure is pretty though. That a fancy house in the middle of nowhere. Garden needs a bit of work, people. The reach the crossroads. There's a hill over there. I thought Fish Island was flat, but there's a hill. There's one road going to the left, one road going to the right. I think it's the one to the right, but I'll check the map and then be on my way. Well, this is turning out to be a much longer ride than I expected. The road went to shit back there too. Anyway, I think I'm nearly there, so might as well persevere and see what's at the end. Okay, I think I've reached the end of the road. Very lush and green here. I just didn't expect it to be so hilly. There's a guy down there and there's a strange, um, like a fence. Um, with the gate there, but as you can see around here, the way is shut, at least to bikes. So I can see the ocean over there, I'm going over. All right, officially beyond the barriers. Let's see. Oh, wow. Like there's a little concrete platform thing down here. Hopefully no dogs, but you never know. Look at that. This would be a good fishing spot down here. There's remains of a hammock there. Ocean, people. Look at that! Well, it was a bit of an effort to get here and the road is pretty ordinary in some places, but wow! So worth it. Just beautiful. Just 
getting to the bit of the road that's um, not so good but look at those hills so pretty Look, if I keep stopping to show you all these beautiful places, I'm never going to get home. But just every time I turn a corner, the view changes and it's so beautiful. Anyway, better get after them. I think I'm back through the worst of it. Got some local people up here, probably down from Phnom Penh doing some... Um, Instagramming, I think. Can't blame them. Okay, I'm riding and filming at the same time. comes across how pretty this is. Anyway. There's no substitute for being here, I guess. Feeling the, um, the sun on your skin and the breeze as you ride along. It's so fresh, so lovely. It's only 10 o'clock in the morning, but it's starting to feel like a Gansberg. Wow, this is a really good road. It's not sealed, but geez, it's flat. Okay, back to the crossroads. Around we go to the left. Bag is everywhere. Okay, a few potholes to navigate here. Not so easy with one hand. There we go, though. the colours today. The air is so clear. Everything's just this bright green and yellow flowers. And, ah, so good, I tell you. good for the soul to get out in places like this. I had been in a bit of a funk lately I suppose you'd say. Finding it hard to um, get motivated to to do much of anything really but getting out today has just made me feel much better. I just woke up and thought okay today's the day. cluster of new houses over here. Lots 
in this truck. Oh, they're loading up, loading up some salt. Bloody hard, hot work that is. Just got to pick out the well-worn parts of the road, places like this. The bits that are nice and um, heavily compacted from lots of use, those are the bits that are going to be the best to ride on. So that's what we try and do. Go where others have gone before. getting to be time for a Gansberg. This lady's selling stuff. It's like a postcard over there, isn't it? Rice fields, mountains. So good. Did the chicken cross the road? Okay, here at the um, Magic Sponge, going to have the big breakfast today. It's the uh, world of food with American sides portions. I'm getting the big breakfast, as you can see there. Five dollars looks good. It's good. They've even got a um, pup pup course in here. She's a She's a fast one. It's a fast course. It's all um, kind of unpainted, not um, felt. But yeah, uh, free. So you got a little pup pup course. It's a weird name for a restaurant. Nice owner. Very happy. Beach on the way in, really nice. So everyone who um, suggested coming here, I finally made it. So we'll see what the big breakfast is like when it turns up. Okay, so this is the big breakfast. Um, it's absolutely huge. It's five dollars. Either bread roll or toast with jam and butter. Um, I got two fried eggs, two lots of bacon, uh, some lovely mushrooms and onion, a bit of tomato, uh, some potato wedges, um, baked beans, and one of the best sausages I've ever eaten in Cambodia, plus a large coffee. Very, very good deal. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. As always, it would be great if you could like and subscribe and also check out the links in the description for details of other channels that we follow and other people that are making content here in Cambodia. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.